Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. I mentioned in yesterday's trade video that the Bruins and Hampus Lindholm were already working on a contract extension, and today it's been made official by the team. Let's talk about it. The team officially signs the 28-year-old defenseman to an 8-year, $52 million deal that will be paying him a cap hit of $6.5 million per season. This puts him second behind Charlie McAvoy in highest-paid Bruins defense, and he also ties Charlie McAvoy as the Bruin with the most term left on his deal. Shortly after the Lindholm trade yesterday, I tweeted out that I wanted Don Sweeney to work his magic and make sure this cap hit for Lindholm came in under $7 million. And wouldn't you know it, Don does it again. One of his biggest strengths as general manager has been getting guys to sign deals under their market value. If Lindholm went to unrestricted free agency this offseason, there absolutely would have been a huge bidding war for his services, just like there was in the trade market for him. He would have only been able to sign for seven years, but he easily would have made over $7 million on the open market. And now the Bruins get that extra year just because they already traded for him, and that's a good thing. He will be 36 at the end of this deal, but the reason I'm comfortable with signing a guy like Lindholm for this term instead of a guy like Tori Krug, for example, is Lindholm has more size, so he's a lot less likely to wear down over time. He's always been a very good defense first guy, and as we've seen from a player like Zdeno Chara, if you're a good defender, you can hang around in this league for quite some time. And lastly, one of Lindholm's biggest strengths has always been his skating ability. So even if that goes down a little bit, he would just be an average NHL skater at the age of 36. So I'm willing to take that risk with this player, and now we don't have to worry about filling that hole for a very long time. I don't know about you guys, but I am so sick of saying the Bruins need a legit top four defenseman year after year after year. Now they finally filled that hole, and we don't have to worry about it season after season. In fact, the Bruins have a majority of their core locked up in their prime long term. They have McAvoy for eight more years, Lindholm for eight more years, and Carlo for five more years. Then they have all their depth defensemen, guys like Forbort, Riley, Clifton, who now play better roles as a 5, 6, and 7th defenseman, and you have Matt Grizzlick for two more years. Not to mention you still have all your young defensemen, guys like Lorai, Jack Ashan. They'll get their chance someday too, and now the Bruins' decor is one of their biggest strengths moving forward. So even when we move on from guys like Bergeron and Marshan and maybe get a little bit weaker up front, the decor is solidified, and it seems like we have a legit goalie in Jeremy Swayman. And they always say if you're trying to build a new team, you want to build from the net out. And the Bruins are doing exactly that. This deal also finalizes my thoughts on this trade for the Bruins. I think it's a slam dunk move by Don Sweeney. As I mentioned yesterday, go and check out that video if you haven't already. It's a lot of assets to give up, but it's definitely worth it. And now that they've been able to sign Lindholm long term, it's absolutely worth all the assets they gave up. And it was definitely a big factor in why they gave up so much, knowing that they'd probably come to terms on a contract. We're all very excited to see Lindholm playing in the black and gold. It sounds like he won't be ready to go Monday against Montreal, but should be ready to go Thursday against the Tampa Bay Lightning. And that'll be very interesting. That's obviously two teams that will meet in the playoffs if they go far enough two rivals, and two teams that have been very busy at this year's trade deadline and likely aren't done making moves, so I'm looking forward to that game. Bruce Cassidy also mentioned that Lindholm will play with both Carlo and McAvoy. That was interesting because I mostly mentioned him playing with McAvoy in my video yesterday, but now that I think about it, Matt Grizzlick has played some of his best hockey alongside Charlie McAvoy, so it might not be a bad idea to put them together at least at the start, and Carlo's kind of had a rough season so far and has gone through a lot of deep partners. So maybe giving Lindholm to Carlo will re-energize Carlo and get him back to his regular level of play. Either way, it's sounding like the top four will be some combination of Charlie McAvoy, Hampus Lindholm, Brandon Carlo, and Matt Grizzlick. And if you ask me, that's a pretty good top four decor. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the Hampus Lindholm contract extension? Who do you think he'll play with? And who do you think he best fits with? Leave that down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like. And if you haven't already subscribe. <laughs>